hello everyone welcome back to my channel Sophie for Christ I'm so glad that you're here welcome back so I'm going to continue the tutorial sessions about how you can become a homeowner as a self-employed person so in this week's set of tutorials I'm going to go through an example of someone who is self-employed in a specific area and just show you how you would figure out what your net profit would be then the next video for this week's tutorial session is going to consider how you would complete the so4a form which is the estimate of your net profits and that form is submitted to the tax office and that's the only way that you'll be able to contribute to nht now as i say that about the tax office so i sent out the first set of videos last week and unfortunately i had a comment on one of them which said basically i am using jesus and um andrew wholeness has sent me to force poor people to pay taxes people people come on you can't even google my name sophia c terrell i am strictly self-employed all right i am not attached to any government ministry i am not attached to nht never work in the government never work for nht none of those things i am not affiliated with the government i am not attached to the government in any way <laughs> more than just an ordinary citizen okay so all of this that i'm sharing is just really things that i have done for myself uh you know I just sharing my knowledge that Jesus has laid upon my heart to share. All right, so no more paranoia. I'm not connected to Andrew Hollis. We don't know nobody. If governments like that, so they will be sending me to the fraud poor people. All right, so now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's begin. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. So now we're going to look at the monthly net profits calculation for this person that I made up totally for the previous two tutorial sessions. Destiny Waits, we're going to assume that she has a stall somewhere in the corporate area of Kings. So I'm just going to go through this example and show you how you would calculate your own monthly net profits. And from your monthly net profits, you can just extrapolate and figure out what your estimated annual net profits would be. And by annual, I mean the entire year. And a disclaimer, please, before I start, I do not know if any of these numbers are the right numbers i have no experience in this area yeah i'm just following the instructions of the lord who told me to go with this example of a higlo or a vendor so if you are in this business and you're looking at my numbers i said eh, what kind of nonsense she's saying my numbers are higher than that lower than that please people it's just an example and i have to put numbers so that you can't catch it all right I'm focusing on the income first, or about the income, what it would be estimated. So I have clothes, drinks, snacks, and weekend barbecues. So for clothing, I'm going to assume that when she sells those, her monthly income is 40000 Now for drinks, let's assume that for the month, she takes in 80000 And for snacks, she takes in 60000 revenue. For those weekend barbecues with the whole lot of happenings, she takes in 70,000. So if we assume that those are the only things that she does, then her total in this case would be 250,000. If you are in a business where you do multiple things, it just helps so you to figure out how profitable each thing is for you. So it helps to break down what you bring in terms of your income for each type of business that you do. She see she has four different income streams at our one stall. So you just make sure that you break it down according to your different income streams. And of course break down the costs as well for the different income streams. So the costs will be shared across all of them so that you can be sure that you're being profitable. Now we're going to move to her about the expenses all right so let's assume for that the rental for her shop is 20,000 maybe more or less and uh, let's assume also that she has her vehicle she has her car that transports her to her from 
her house to where she sell and then I'm going to put the gas to go in there for the month it would be let's say 20,000 also account for the maintenance and let's say that this gas amount and this maintenance amount these are the amounts that can be attributable to her business now you can actually figure this out in terms of when you go to the gas station in Jamaica you can ask them to give you a receipt and that's whether you are paying via card or paying via cash if you have a card that you use your business and of course keep the receipts for the different registration and so forth and so on and depending on how much you use your vehicle for your business then it will determine how much of it you can write off as a business expense without a pay persons will likely purchase the clothing bulk and so they bring it in from overseas but let's just assume that when you consider that she takes out from her store at her home the clothes that she's going to sell in the store for the month the clothes purchase is valued at 20,000 and let's also assume that when she purchased her drinks for sale that would run her to about 35,000 when she purchases her snacks for sale and she's purchasing them in bulk at wholesale prices let's say that runs her 30,000 and the barbecue cost for the month let's say in total that runs her about 35,000 and in the interest of time, let's just assume that she has no work class related to her business. So I have calculated that to be 170,000. So she has a total monthly income 250,000 versus a total set of monthly expenses of 170,000. Now your net profit is simply a profit per month of 80,000. What would her annual debt profits be if we're assuming that she makes a debt profit of 80,000 per month? And this is of course just an approximation, it's just an estimate. There are 12 months in a year. So that means that her annual or her yearly debt profits, so that that would be 960,000. This is a profit that you'll put into your estimated SO4A when you're calculating and estimate what you would be paying over for your NHA contributions and also for education tax and your NIS, which is your national insurance scheme. Now, the good news is the threshold to be free of that 25% income tax is pretty much 1.5 million she makes out of that. So, destiny weights will not be paying any income tax because she doesn't make a net profit that is above the income tax threshold so that's the thing that i was pointing out to you in one of my earlier videos now if you have any questions about the calculation please feel free to leave your comments down below whether you're watching this on youtube or watching this on facebook please be sure to also like this video please also share and make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification bell so that you know just when i upload a new video to this channel please also like and follow my facebook page so that you keep abreast of what it is that the lord lays on my heart to share because we're all going to win in this 2020 and beyond so now we're going to move on to part two of this week's tutorial session so stay tuned